Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is 13.4. This is our fourth video. We're going to be approximating the error using uh, our different total differentials. We're approximating that change. Uh, we're going to do a couple examples here. We went over the process in the last video. Let's do some examples. Let's look at the error in a volume of a box. We got our we're a box manufacturing company. We make boxes that are 50 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And since it's a machine, there is a margin of error of 0.2 centimeters in each dimension. We want to find the largest possible error in volume and the percentage error. So we know the volume of a box, the formula is length times width times height. If we look at the total differential, we take the derivative of V with respect to each of those along the way. So dV is the partial of V with respect to L times DL plus the partial of V with respect to W times DW plus the partial of V with respect to H times DH. <clears throat> so we're going to try to approximate delta V using this dV uh, for this example problem right here. 50 centimeters times, and we'll just say the L is 50, W is 35, H is 20. It doesn't matter which one's which as long as we label them now. Uh, we won't make mistakes later on. So maybe we should see what the total volume actually is. Uh, if you plug in 50 and 35 and 20 into L times W times H, we are going to get 35,000. Now let's approximate delta V using dV. <clears throat> so the derivative of V with respect to L is just WH. Uh, so there's our D our VL, partial with V with respect to L. Uh, each one, we're basically just dropping out the variable that's in it because they're all to the first power. Partial of V with respect to W is LH, and partial of V with respect to H is LW. We plug those in right there. That's our formula that we're using for uh, delta V. We plug in our values. The 50, the 35, the 20, we're saying 0.2 centimeters is the maximum or the margin of error on each of the things. And if we calculate it, we're going to get 690 cubic centimeters. And that'll be our maximum error. So the box should have been 35,000. It could be 35,690. Uh, and so it could be a little bit bigger. Why would you care if you're packing stuff? and you are paying by how much is in there, that extra 690 cubic centimeters, you might think that's a lot. It might be a lot. <laughs> but if you look at it as a percentage of the total error, uh, like the way you would do that is taking the actual error, dividing by the actual volume, multiply by 100. The percentage error here is 690 cubic centimeters over 35,000 cubic centimeters. Notice the centimeters cubed drop out. We get 1.97%, under 2% uh, margin of error for the volume. I don't know if we like that or not as the box company. Uh, let's try a more fun shape. So let's do a right circular cone. A right circular cone has a radius five centimeters and a height of 15 centimeters with a possible error of 0.1 centimeters for each. Approximate the max percent error in the volume here. So the volume of a cone is, you know what a right circular cone is, right? Uh, so the volume of cone is one third pi r, r squared h. <laughs> and so if we look at the initial volume here, plugging in r equals five and h equals 15, uh, we have 392, approximately 0.7 cubic centimeters. How much is the error? Uh, so we have delta r and delta h are both 0.1. Delta V is going to be dV, total di approximately our total differential of V. 
which is the partial derivative of v with respect to r times dr plus our partial derivative of v with respect to h times dh. And we want to evaluate that at the 5 and 15 that we have using our delta r and delta h here. So if we take the derivative of the volume function with respect to r, we have 2 thirds pi r h times dr. We take the derivative with respect to h, the h just drops off. And now we have values for all these variables. Uh, the two thirds pi r h, plug it in. The r is five, h is 15. And dr and dh are both 0.1. We find delta v is approximately dv, which is five pi plus 2.5 over three pi. You Work that all out in the calculator. It's like 18.326 cubic centimeters. That's our max error. We want to find our volume, our percent volume error. So we have said function here. Dividing this, I actually use this right here, the 5 pi plus 2.53 pi. I divided that by the actual volume calculated with 15 and five. So I didn't round anywhere. Like I didn't, what I wrote down on the paper, I didn't use. So the actual error is, or percentage error. The decimal was that 0 0.046, we convert to a percentage, 4.66%. Uh, I guess rounding would make that 4.67, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it round, Mr. Jones? I don't know if we like that or not, but it is what it is. All right. That's it for this video. Peace.